My name is Joel, and I wrote a book called 10 Essays on Fizz Buzz. To accompany the book, I'm making 10 videos on Fizz Buzz. Episode 4 Euclid's Solution. Fizz Buzz is the following problem Print the numbers 1 to 100, except if the number is divisible by 3, instead print fizz. If the number is divisible by 5, instead print buzz. And if the number is divisible by 15, instead print fizz buzz. Now you may be wondering to yourself, how could someone get 10 essays worth of material out of this one simple problem? Well, stay tuned. Thank you for coming in today. I see you have a math degree. Yeah, so I was in a math PhD program, but then I, I dropped out. Well, great. I have a math problem for you. It's called Fizz Buzz. Okay, well, my favorite mathematician is probably Euclid. Uh, so let's solve this the way that Euclid would solve it. Um, I, I think that could be a, that could be a pretty good approach. Um, and so let's, you know, define fizz buzz, which takes in an integer and returns a string. Um, and now in order to solve this using, uh, let's call it Euclid's algorithm, if you will, um, we we'll want to define high, which is the max of n and 15. And, um, extra comma there. And then we want to define low, which is the min of n and 15. Okay, so we basically said that you know, if n is bigger than 15, these are n and 15. And if n is less than 15, these are 15 and n. And so now what I want to do is I want to say while um, the higher number is not divisible by the lower number. So while high, the remainder is bigger than zero, that means they're not divisible. I'm going to replace them and say high and low equals, I'm going to replace high with low, and I'm going to replace low with the remainder when I divide high by low. So I know that if I divide something by low, the remainder will be less than low. Um, so these are again going to be a higher number and a lower number. Um, and I'm just going to repeat this until I get something that's divisible. And then what I'm going to say is I'm going to say, I want to return. And you know, if um, I'm going to return something based on low. Um, and if low is one, I'm going to return uh, the string of n, and if low is three, I'm going to return fizz, and if low is five, I'm going to return buzz, and if low is 15, I'm going to return fizz buzz, okay? And so now that I've done this, I'm going to write a for loop for i in range one, 101, uh, print fizz buzz i, and that should be good. Let's take a look at this again and make sure that it does what we think it does. Um, seems pretty reasonable to me. So now let us try uh, running this. So again, uh, let's look at our check. You know, 75 is fizz buzz, that seems right. 78 is fizz, 79, 80 is buzz, 81 is fizz, and so on. Um, 90 is fizz buzz, 91, 92, 93 is fizz, 90, uh, 98 fizz and buzz. So, so this looks right. Um, so hopefully, hopefully you get um, where I'm coming from here. And uh, you know, I think this is a pretty good solution. So I, I hope that you like it. Thank you. Whoa, can you send me Euclid's resume too? And don't forget to check out the book at fizzbuzzbook.com.